Hi guys. Good morning, y'all. It is five o'clock. Um, I'm getting ready for work and I just figured I'd, uh, make a video because I haven't made one in a while and like nothing super interesting has happened. Um, <clears throat> but I do have a, um, kitchen kitchen sink that's supposed to be coming in today hopefully if it actually does i bought it off a of tiktok well not off a of tiktok off a ad um that popped up on tiktok that led me to a website that seemed legit but you know you know how that goes we'll see nathan is not convinced it's real so you know like i said we will see how that goes um for a little bit i've I've been digging the um, bandana thing, so. I mean, I've always loved wearing bandanas, but like, literally just a bandana for everything, so. <sighs> that is what I am doing. I'm going for a real light makeup look, but you know how that always goes. Like, I'll start getting it ready, and then out of nowhere, I'm like, you know what? Let's change it up completely and do something that I did not intend to do at all, and, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I ordered this sink, and I'm super excited about it. Um, if it does come in and I didn't get scammed and, you know, everything's legit, um, it's a, like, one basin sink, um, very deep, um, what else? Uh, it came with, well, I bought a, um, cup cleaner. Like, you know, you just set the cup on and, like, um, it sprays it out, like, completely. Um, it came with, like, a fruit strainer and, like, a water, it has a waterfall, um, spout to, like, rinse vegetables, which I'm excited about. Um, What else? Came with a cutting board and it came with like a detachable second basin. Like it it has grooves to um attach to the sink. That way if you're like washing vegetables or something, you can set them to the side and then like still have a way to separate them. They're not like rolling all over the bottom of your sink type of deal. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um yeah. If it comes in, I will be super excited. I also ordered a um, soap pump, which I could care less about, but I figured I'm already spending the money. Might as well get the soap pump that matches it in case Nathan ends up wanting it because um, to have to go back and buy one and it possibly not match <laughs> and uh, have to wait for it to come in. I was like, no. We'll just buy it now and like if we decide not to use it it was only like what 15 bucks so it is what it is um we almost got scammed out of a um out of 500 dollars um some guy posted on facebook um selling puppies or technically rehoming puppies and i was like well people do that um it's usually to ensure that nobody's gonna take the puppy to the pound and like, you know, go out and get this, this dog and then decide that they don't wanna take care of it. It's more to ensure that people are gonna take care of the animal. Like you wouldn't spend $500 on an animal just to turn around and take it to the pound or most, most people wouldn't, right? So I was like, that's, that's not weird. Okay, we can do that. But then I'm messaging the guy and I'm like, hey, I would love to come see the dogs and make, the, make sure they're legit. And like, I'm serious. I have the money, like totally willing to um, purchase this dog. Cause like, you know, we're just a regular family. I'm not saying anything about anybody else, but like we're not looking to breed, you know, we just we just want a family dog. And um that's specifically the type of dog that I want. 
but the type of dog that I want is one of those like the type type of dog that I want is a um, very expensive breed and I am I understand that and I know mm, for the most part it's out of my budget normally um, but I, I don't want to breed this dog I just want to um, like love this puppy and um, like I have nothing against going to a shelter and getting a dog that way that's how how well sort of how I got Luna Luna we went to like this person's ad on Facebook and like Luna was born blind and deaf so like had I not taken her not that I'm some kind of savior or anything but like had I not taken her there's a good chance she would have ended up at a kill shelter or something because a lot of people don't think that they can handle a dog like her which honestly she is probably one of the most well-behaved dogs ever she is so sweet she is so kind she is so loving like you'll never meet another dog that wants your love and affection more than her but um it's just one of the type of dogs that uh i've always wanted and like i said that they were rehoming them um or so they said so i was like of course of course i want one and um you know i get into talking to him and at first everything seems fine um and i'm like well i'd like to come see you know where where the dogs are staying you know and he's like oh don't worry um i'm a repu reputable reputable breeder this and that and in the original post he wasn't talking about being a breeder he was just saying that his dog accidentally had a set of puppies so i'm like okay it's cool and all but i still want to come see these dogs um and make sure everything's legit he's like oh, i'm not trying to scam you and then his english starts getting really bad and i'm like huh that's a little odd but anyway i continue forward and i'm like listen dude i did not feel comfortable paying you before i see these dogs and uh i'm like this you're only about four hours away i have time off I can come visit you in like a day or so. If you have not gotten rid of all of the dogs, because I realize that the price that you're selling at, giving them away, rehoming them, whatever you want to call it, is really cheap. So there's a good chance they, they are already gone. I'm fully aware of this. But if they're not, let me know and I will come see you, see the dogs, and I will pur purchase one right then and there. This dude, this dude just keeps going back and forth with me. And he's like, no, 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 no. You have to buy now. They'll be gone. And I'm like, well, that's a risk I'm willing to take because I, I don't trust, I don't trust you. Like, I don't trust anybody on the internet really. But Facebook, like there have been a lot of people who've done me wrong. I just don't trust it. I'm sorry. But I'm like, I'm sorry. I just, I just don't trust you. I just, I can't, if the dogs are still there by this day, let me know and I will drive there cash in hand and pay you. And, uh, he's like, okay, gets real short with me, real hateful. Um, so the next day I'm at work and lo and behold, I'm blocked. And I'm like, huh? Well, that's re real weird. So then I asked my fiance to look at his profile because I shared the post to him in Messenger. So he can go to the at least the post through the Messenger, if not, you know, everything else. So he goes to the post in Messenger and he's like, well, he's not there anymore. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, um, at least... He's not a man anymore. So he had never talked to Nathan or anything before. So he had no reason to block him the way he blocked me. But dude was, had apparently changed his Facebook to be a female, right? 
I'm like, a whole female? And he's like, yeah, he's a female. I'm like, that's weird, but okay. Well then, Nathan gets to looking at his profile a little bit later because, you know, why would he have me blocked? But at the same time, I, f I was figuring it, it was a scam. Like, obviously, otherwise you wouldn't have thrown such a big fit and then blocked me after I was like, you know, mm, I think I got to see this dog in person. Anyway, so Nathan's looking at his profile a little bit later, same day. Post is got completely gone. Um, and his profile is, is completely deleted. No longer a woman, just not there. So, we're like, ah, good thing we didn't pay this dude $500 just to get scammed, right? <laughs> so we've been looking for this dog, like, dog like this dog because it's the only dog me and Nathan have agreed on that we can get. And so I've been looking, he's been looking, and uh, we haven't found anything so far. But that's kind of where we're on, where we're at with that. It's no big deal. We're fine. Even if we don't get a dog, we're fine. Um, but the same night, I was scro scrolling through TikTok, watching videos as one does, just kind of winding down for the night. And as I'm on TikTok, I see this ad for a um, sink. It's like this all-in-one whatever. And uh, I get super excited and I purchase it. Um, I got $100 off according to the website and it was like almost eight hundred dollars that I got for six fifty or something like that so I was super excited and the moment I show Nathan he's like that's a scam and I'm like well I sure hope not because I just spent like five hundred dollars on it a little bit more but literally five hundred dollars at least um he's like that's definitely a scam I'm like, well, we're, we'll find out because I bought it. And so today we find out if it was a scam or not. I'm supposed to be here. At some point today, um, but I have work, so we will find out later if it actually made it here. I don't know. <coughs> I don't feel like it's a scam just due to the fact that it's given me constant updates. Like right now, according to the shop app, you guys can track stuff from the moment you order it to the moment it lands in your mailbox, which is very nice. Um, if you're wondering what I'm using, <laughs> it's this Persona um, contour stick, but I am so far down, like I cannot wind it up anymore. Um, and I am taking this brush and using it to pull it out because that is how much I like the stick and I am at the end. I have to go buy me another one. I think I look cute today. I'm just wearing those um, TikTok overalls that keep popping up. I, I'm heavily influenced by ads, if you couldn't tell. Um, but the TikTok um, overalls that keep popping up, they look comfortable. They are comfortable, but they're not, they don't feel as comfortable as they look on the ad where everybody's like, oh yes, I bought them in every single color. And the woman puts her, like, arms in. She's like, look how stretchy they are. Like, they're stretchy, but not, like, that stretchy. Which I, I guess technically I don't need them that stretchy, but I wanted them that stretchy. I don't know. Does that make sense? Am I making any sense? 
Do I just sound like a bunch of hoopla? Um, what else? Got a new rug for the living room, which I'm super excited about. Looks really good. Um, I'll have to insert a picture, but Nathan does not like it. He does not think it matches. which it does not match our curtains. I will give him that. It does not match the curtains. It looks very odd. There's My sister says there's too much uh, like pattern going on. It's a little busy, which, you know, I, I don't know if it was that, but like I put it in and I was like looking around and I was like, I, I was like, I love this new rug, except with the curtains. Like I don't, I don't know why it's throwing me off, but like there's something about it with the curtains that I'm just not vibing with, but I don't know what it is. And then my sister was like, it's too busy. Like there's one pattern on the rug and there's another pattern pattern on the curtains and it's just not going well. And I'm like, okay, maybe that's it. Cause I'm sitting here like, I don't know what it is, but something is definitely off and I can't like pinpoint it, but like, something I'm sorry if you can hear the train in the background I mean I really don't care because it's not that loud and like if you do hear it you've got supersonic hearing but also we're in 2023 and we shouldn't be hating on people for things they can't control I mean I guess I could pause the video and wait for the train to go by but I'm getting ready for work and I just as much as I love you guys and as much as I like, you know, doing things for you guys, I just don't care that much, you know, like, like if we were sitting in my house hanging out, I wouldn't expect to completely pause the conversation until the train completely passed by. Um, oh, this happened a while ago, but it still makes me laugh. Um, Nathan got me a um, microphone arm for in here, which if I ever get to filming um, my crafts would be nice, but he got me a microphone arm and he was like, oh, how do you like your microphone arm? And I'm like, good, I guess. And he was like, you record anything? And I'm like, I don't have a microphone. I have the one that attaches to my um, ring light, but so far I've found that that thing sucks and not to use it. So I know I've not, I don't know. And he's like, oh. So he bought me a um, microphone, microphone arm thinking I had a uh, microphone to talk into. And, uh, surprise, I do, I do not, but now, you know, if I, if I do start a podcast or something, I've already got the microphone arm, so that's news. My eyebrows. I want to have the laminated eyebrow look, but, like, anytime I use those gels which you know they're nice they just don't they don't have the grip that I need um I need to look into um different brow gels I think I'm gonna try the one from elf um but they just don't they're not doing it like they're not holding my brows you know what I'm saying like they're just not they're not I need my brows to stick up and they're like, eh. I even put hairspray in my brows the other day and they just fell. I was like, come on now. Like this is the got to be glued that I use. And I'm, I swear that hairspray can have your hair sticking straight up. And I like literally sprayed it and like raised my eyebrows and they just went, Mwah. 
And I was like, what the frick? I just want... I just want good eyebrows for one day. That looks like a mistake. We've been going um, skating, which has been fun. Um, me and my best friend went out to a like simmer pot restaurant. I don't, I don't know what you'd call it, but it was so good. Um, what else? What else have I done? Not a whole lot besides work, to be honest. It's mostly been work and... Um, yeah, that's literally mostly about it. I'm gonna try and fix this eyebrow because I'd be looking wild. <sighs> Whatever. They look how they look. I'm I'm not messing with them anymore. I just don't care. Like I said. I need to find a different brow gel because they're not, they're just not sticking the way I want them to. And it's aggravating me just a tad. I will say I look glowy as hell today and it looks nice. Mine too. Um, granted, I know we had a pool last year, but, um, Nathan and I were talking and I was like, listen, so the pool we had last year fit, um, all the kids and everything I said, but when it was just our kids, the pool felt big. Like the kids were all excited and it was fun. I said once, like my sister's kids, our kids, you know, all of that business, it started feeling really tight and really small. I was like, if if we can, I think I'm going to buy the um, big, like biggest pool over at Walmart. And Nathan's like, yeah, if we're gonna do that, why don't we just find one of those like big um, permanent pools? on Facebook Marketplace and just get that. And I'm like, cause usually they're like a couple thousand dollars. And uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but I don't have that kind of money. The big, big pool is 22 feet and like four and a half foot tall. And uh, it's $600. So, as much as that is, it's still way more. Affordable. In a couple thousand. So then, this lady on Facebook. Which Nathan told her that I do YouTube. But Nathan sends me this ad that this lady posted on Facebook for a free pool. I read that thing back to front because he had been sending me other pools because of this exact argument. Most of them I've seen have been a couple thousand dollars, right? So for this reason, he's been sending me like a couple hundred. And there was one he sent me that was like a $300 uh, pool and it was like but you will need a new liner and I was like well how much is a liner Nathan and he was like I don't know so then he um, finds this one and this one's completely free according to the ad you get everything that comes with it right I read this sucker front to back 
back to front, inside out, you know, trying to find, you know, whether it was worth us going to go get it because it's also a little distance away. And I'm like, yeah, this sounds great. Um, go get this when you can, if it's still available. So he's like, yeah, I'm already talking to her, seeing if it's okay. And uh, it's like an hour away from us. So he has to drive a little bit. But anyway, in this description of this ad, it says that we can have it for free, but the stipulation is that we have to drain it ourselves and it can't be drained into her backyard. It has to be drained um, all the way at the very back of her property, which I get because, you know, she was apparently a dog trainer but even for a normal person, nobody wants a muddy yard. And this is a huge pool. So like, yeah, of course. Like, understandable. But anyway, we have to take down ourselves. Um, and we can have it. Comes with pool toys, this and that. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's a good deal. Um, yeah. He said there's a free, there's a porch on it too. I'm going to ask her if I can have that. That was not included in the ad, okay? It's like, I'm going to ask her about the porch. I'm like, okay, good deal. Well, he goes up there to start taking apart this pool. And the pump that he had was going to take too long. So he's going to leave it there overnight to drain and the woman was like, oh no, I don't want you using my uh, electricity to drain this pool. It's going to go up like crazy. Which, how else did you expect them to get it drained? One, but two, also still understandable. We figure it out. He comes back the next day. Right? So... He's there getting this pool taken down. He's got his uh, cousin helping him who's taken down several pools before. They get it, you know, ready to go. And uh, he starts taking the pumps and stuff. And uh, she's like, oh, no, 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 that's not free. I have to charge you for that. Um, it says in the post. So then he goes back to the post because he sent it to me. So it's not hard to find. And she had edited the post. And I was like, yeah, that sucks. Um, he goes, well, I wasn't going to buy any of it because she was charging like $300. And like the pump brand new is like $500. And like f if I were to buy it and it didn't work, like I'd be pissed. I was like, yeah, I'm kind of mad that, you know, she uh, lied and edited the post. Like, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Um, I understand wanting more money, like not realizing the value and what you're, you're selling and being like, dang, I should have posted that for more. Um, but like to straight up lie and be like, oh no, I, it always said that and try and be sneaky about it. When, in fact, no it, no, it didn't because I read that post backwards to forwards because if it cost money, I was probably going to tell him no. You were giving everything, including all the pool toys, away for free, including all the pool chemicals, everything, right? I read through that post, ma'am. But again, whatever. It is what it is. Um, we end up buying that stuff for like 125. We've got to buy a liner and then um, we got to buy some sand to level out the pool, which not ideal, but it's probably the best situation we could have worked, walked away with because um, we got the pool that he insisted we have. And uh,
we're going to have a pool big enough for all the kids to play in this summer. Because last summer we had my sister's four kids over nearly all summer. And um, as much fun as it was, we did not have a big enough pool. Like th they were constantly on top of each other arguing. So I am super excited to have a pool like literally twice as big um, that we will be able to keep in the same spot and um, hopefully build a deck to it and you know, have that all going eventually. But for now, yeah, that's, that's what we're dealing with. Um, I was a little disappointed, like I said, that she lied and like all that stuff. If any of you guys are curious, I will post the sink somewhere in the video if it comes in so you guys can see what it looks like. What else real quick that happened? Oh, there was a bunch of storms here in Kentucky and uh, it knocked part of my roof off. Like not the actual roof, but the shingles. So if that's fun, I can post a picture of that somewhere in here. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah.